by calling isn't something that's very specifically or narrowly defined. It's something that's just general. It's a feeling and it's something that I just know inside. It's very hard for me to define in words. But that calling can then be transferred into so many different things that I'm doing as long as I'm kind of listening to that conscious, to that voice, to that calling that I feel is there, then I can take many different paths and still be within the realm of my calling. Uh, I started a chapter of Hip Hop Congress in college and that's really where most of my passion and time went into. And quickly I saw myself not going to class, not caring, and even classes that I was doing well in, I just stopped caring about. Um, and at one point, I just dropped all my classes, even classes I was getting an A in, and decided, you know what, I just can't do this anymore. It wasn't sitting well with me. I was down at the University of Illinois at Champaign. I'm ready to be in Chicago. I'm loving what's going on with the art scene and the hip hop scene here. Uh, so I decided I'm just going to do it. I don't have to be in college right now to do finance. I don't have to do what you know is dictated by society, parents, whoever else. And I can just do what I'm passionate about started off as a mentor and then started kind of running a mentorship program for a nonprofit um, and just started making it on my own, started DJing more and started figuring out how to make money as an artist and start making a living doing that. Uh, and I think it was good that I also had a passion for working with young people and then connecting my passion for art and hip hop and music. You know when you're doing something that you're passionate about, that's right, that's good for you and you kind of know when you're not. If more people were doing the calling, um, I think things in the world would be a lot better, honestly. And I think that there'd be less conflict internally in people and thus less conflict externally.